Hi guys, and welcome back to Petrolhead Podcasts. The 2023 Ford Ranger is a breakthrough new product for Ford and an eagerly anticipated successor to the very successful T6 generation Ranger that has been with us since 2011. With an updated platform, bold new looks, advanced new in-car technologies, and a 3-liter V6 turbo diesel, the new Ranger is poised for success. But how does it compare to its arch rival, the Toyota Hilux, which won our last pickup truck comparison at the end of last year against the last generation Ranger, the Isuzu D-Max and the Nissan Navara? Join me as I go through an in-depth comparison to give you the answer. Today, we will compare the top of the range Hilux GR Sport, an all new trim level for 2022, and the 2023 Ranger Wild Track to see which is the better pickup truck to buy. But before I proceed, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to be the first to see more amazing content like this in the future. First of all, starting with the exterior styling, the Ranger has an appealing look inspired by the full-size F-Series trucks. The squared-off hood, C-shaped headlights and muscular wheel arches give it great road presence for a mid-sized truck. The vehicle has a wider track than the last generation, giving it a better stance when viewed up front. For the first time ever, the car also gets Matrix LED headlights for better illumination of the road. On the side, the car is a bit disappointing, being so similar in profile to the last generation model. Round back, the embossed Ranger lettering is very cool and tough looking, but the tail lights are a bit boring looking and the shape is too similar to the last models again, which is a bit sad. On the other hand, the Hilux GR Sport is the most refined version of the current shape Hilux yet, with an attractive looking front end featuring the classic Toyota lettering and a big grille that looks extremely robust. The gloss black highlights on this model arguably look better than the chrome and black plastic of other high-end Hilux models and give the car an upmarket appearance. It is just a shame that the car has a narrow track compared to the Ranger and many other competitors, which is amplified by the wheel arch extensions on this model and make the car look skinny and narrow. On the side, the Gazoo Racing black and red stickers are a bit of an afterthought, but at least the profile is clean and smooth, without unnecessary kinks and indents. Run back, the car has a rather plain look, although the new tail lights introduced with the Hilux facelift in 2020 are attractive. Overall, the better looking truck of the two for me is the Ranger Wild Track. Despite the Hilux GR Sport having tasteful styling upgrades, the Ranger is simply more resolved with its fresher design and better road presence, something that a lot of buyers in this segment care about. Moving on to interiors, and the new Ranger has an impressive new cabin with several groundbreaking features for this segment. For starters, it has a fully digital instrument cluster that can display a variety of information. While this may not be that big of a deal in SUVs, it is still a very rare feature in mainstream pickup trucks. The car also has a massive 12-inch touchscreen running the latest Ford Sync 4 system that replaces almost all of the controls in the previous model's dashboard. This again is an impressive piece of technology that makes the car look very modern and upmarket. Furthermore, the electronic shifter and parking brake are also new for this segment and combined to give the new Ranger a minimalist and technology-focused look that is great. The general design of the cabin is also good, and the orange contrasting stitching and lots of storage compartments are a bonus. The car now offers over-the-air updates and a 360-degree camera for the first time as well. The Hilux GR Sport also has a good basic design inside, with attractive red highlights, suede and leather combination seats, GR Sport-specific badging and a new steering wheel for this model, with a red center marker that combine to give a special ambiance inside. It also recently benefited from a specification upgrade that included a 360 degree camera and dual zone climate control. However, when compared to the Ranger, the technology is seriously outdated. With a really small 8 inch center screen running software that is at least one generation behind Ford's Sync 4 system. Similarly, the analog gauges with a tiny 4.2 inch screen are also very much outclassed by the fully digital screen in the Ford, and the traditional gear lever and handbrake just feel really old fashioned next to the Ranger. The Ranger also seems to have better materials with more stitched surfaces and soft touch elements in the cabin. Overall, for interiors, it is a very straightforward win for the Ranger, with its huge advantage in technology over the Hilux. In terms of drivetrains, the Ranger has a choice of a 2.0-litre twin-turbo 4-cylinder and a 3.0-litre V6 turbo diesel. While power figures have not been released yet, we can be confident that the 2.0-litre will at least match the current car's 157 kW and 500Nm outputs, and the 3.0-litre will comfortably exceed those numbers. The new 3.0-litre engine is an exciting development for the segment, as previously only the Volkswagen Amarok and the now discontinued Mercedes X-Class offered V6 powertrains, and both were considered relatively niche offerings. 
These engines are both mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission and also available for the first time is a permanent four-wheel drive system with lower range and different driving mode selections. Again, the Ranger will be the first offering other than the Amarok and X-Class to offer permanent four-wheel drive, which offers improved traction and stability for more surfaces than part-time four-wheel drive systems. A rear differential lock will be offered as well, as will hill descent control. The Ranger will most likely match the current model's 3.5 ton towing capacity, and the loading capabilities will be similar, but will benefit from the wider track of the car that allows it to fit a Euro-sized pallet between its wheel arches. The Toyota Hilux is available with a 2.8-litre four-cylinder engine that produces 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque, which are a match for the Ranger's 2-litre twin turbos outputs. There is also a V6 offered in some markets, but only a petrol 4 litre option with 175 kilowatts and 376 newton meters, and nowhere near as meaty and strong as the V6 turbo diesel in the Ranger. The Hilux is also offered with a part time four wheel drive system only and sends power through a six speed automatic transmission. The Hilux does not have any driving modes other than power and eco modes, and also offers a rear differential lock and hill descent control. The Hilux is able to tow 3.5 tons, but cannot fit a Euro size pallet in between its wheel arches. Overall, the more advanced Ranger with its V6 powertrain, 10-speed automatic transmission and permanent four-wheel drive wins out in terms of drive trends. But the Hilux's 2.8-litre engine is still a solid choice that promises to be a very reliable performer. We do not yet know how the Ranger drives as the car has not formally gone on sale yet, so we cannot judge how the driving dynamics and off-road abilities of the two cars differ. But just from a static perspective, the new Ranger has clearly and decisively beaten the Hilux in its current generation. The more muscular and bolder look, combined with the latest in-car technologies and a convincing new powertrain combination, make it the new benchmark in the mid-size pickup segment. The Hilux is still a very dependable and safe option, with an attractive look, a strong engine, and formidable off-road abilities and reputation for reliability, but just seems a generation behind the Ranger in terms of its technology and cannot match the Ford's powertrain, so finishes second in this competition. What do you guys think of this conclusion, and what are your thoughts on the Ford Ranger Wild Track and Toyota Hilux GR Sport? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, please like and subscribe to be the first to see more amazing content like this in the future. Cheers! and tough. It's to awaken your off-road passions.